you're one of the first people that I've called 911 who actually doesn't seem to understand that in the end, I'm actually the one with the right. Do you hear me? I'm just doing my job. This woman calls the police after she refuses to wear a mask in a store. I know what I want. I'm here at the end with the understanding no one's in the store. You can either accommodate me by giving me an hour at the end of every day, an hour at the beginning of the day. I'm here to buy some things and leave. I don't want to call 911 on you, but I will. I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to because I'm here. If you're you committed to that, if you don't want to wear a mask, then fine. So if, would you like me to call 911? I really would not like you to. Okay, I would I like would, you I to. I would like to not also. So can I there is get, no one in the store. There is no one in the store. There's me in the store. There's you. So you stand 7,000 feet away from me. Ma'am, I'm just trying okay. and to I, do and my I'm job. Here. And I'm trying to make sure that I have rights. So you're going to hear that they're actually going. You'll, you'll make sure to hear that in the end. You're the one who will be cited, not me. Um, yeah, as per the 1964 Civil Rights Act, I cannot be discriminated against. Um, I do have a right to be able to breathe O2, not CO2, and I am being discriminated against right now at a store. So, are you calling to Yes, that I am not being allowed into the store because I am being discriminated against. Because you would not like to wear a mask? Um, it's called Bones and Scones, and I'm being discriminated against because I'm being told I need to wear a mask, even though I have a religious exemption right and a God-given right to be able to breathe O2. I thought it was CO2. a medical exemption. Uh-huh, yes, medical exemption too. So you're one of the first people that I've called 911 who actually doesn't seem to understand that in the end, I'm actually the one with the right to I will wait in my truck. Here's the thing. What's going to happen is the gentleman is going to close his door because they close in four minutes. So what exactly should I do? Because I'd like to just walk on in, grab well, the well, items. At this point, if he's not allowing you in, he is the owner of the store. They have the right to refuse service to anybody. He's that not the illegal. owner. Okay. Well, they still have a right to refuse service if he's an employee there. I don't want to come out then. I don't want you to come out because all I really want is for you to support me, for me to be able to purchase a few items. Right? Yeah. Ma'am, you hear them. You hear me. I'm just doing my job. Can you step outside? Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, I'm just doing my job. And I'm just. Doing I have my rules. Job. I will get in trouble if I let you in without a right. mask. We have a lot of elderly customers. You right. know, it's a it's a elderly, county. Elderly customers it, here. it really doesn't matter. They're, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, God bless you. you. you yeah. You're such a wonderful human being. You are too. Sounds like it's not the first time that she's made one of those calls, but on this occasion. It didn't quite go as she wanted. The poor shop assistant said that they were so distressed by the situation, they nearly passed out when it was happening and spent 20 minutes after dry heaving in the rubbish. Not a situation that you want to be in when you're just trying to do your job. Let us know what you think though down in the comments. And of course, if you have any videos that you want to share, pop it over to our team. And if yours gets featured, you get $250.